I was inspired to make Amy's orgasm because I was going through a lot of uh, things in my life at the time with a new relationship that I needed to get out on the page. The movie is about um, a 29-year-old self-help author named Amy Mandel, and she's just written this book called Why Love Doesn't Work. It's a self-help book for single women, tells them that they don't need a man in their life to be complete. Feel my love. She's horny, and she wants romance, and she wants great sex, but she wants commitment, she wants everything on her terms, and she falls for this kind of Howard Stern-like uh, radio shock jock whose show she goes on. And she doesn't want any of her fans to know, and she feels like a total hypocrite, but she's falling in love with someone who is the, you know, the epitome of what she hates. Well, I was expecting some closet dyke to walk in here, but I have to tell the listeners, this girl has a set of headlights on her to light up any man's inner darkness. That's right, L.A., Amy Mandel is one hot piece of ass. Because I write the scripts, really, they're very um, personal and semi-autobiographical. That's just kind of the way it comes out for me, is to write with voiceover and first person, right to the camera. And so the real side is her talking to the camera. And then there's the side who's signing books and wearing makeup and looking really pretty. And the first shot of the film is actually done with green screen where we superimpose the inner person in the foreground and the camera to kind of dollies across into the public Amy. Oi, now what? I decided to star in it kind of um, half-heartedly because I was really afraid of what people would think, that I would just be called an egomaniac and who does she think she is and all this stuff. But deep in my heart, I really wanted to do it. Actually, it was kind of like a gift to myself to act because I got to relax. You know, when I was in the chair getting my makeup done, it was just like, I just felt so good. <laughs> it was just like being taken away from all the, you know, we can't afford this piece of equipment and the insurance of this and the caterer this and the, you know, generator that. To me, the actor's the easy part. I'm still more in the filmmaker's head than the actor's head. I'm so much more worried about the camera and the shots and if the sound was okay. Because in low-budget films, it's always going wrong. This movie has gone through my whole adult life, from the time that I met the person who became my husband to the time that I had a baby. And it's just this kind of whole huge thing. And sometimes it was almost too much to handle. It impacted, you know, my personal life and impacted the relationship because you take, you know, when you're a filmmaker, you kind of take it home with you. But now I also know, you know, what's important in life. It used to be a lot more important to me, and now I feel like it's in its proper place.